Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be getting some cleaning done today, starting off in my kids' bathroom. This is mostly just the boys' bathroom. My daughter, she typically gets ready downstairs in the guest bathroom or in my bathroom. So we're gonna do a little deep cleaning and like a makeover on decor in the kids' bathroom today. It's pretty boring and plain. I never have done anything in here since we moved into this house. And so I'm gonna freshen it up a little bit. Gave you guys a little overview of the mess in there. Just typical stuff that needs to be wiped up and cleaned up. And here's a few things that I picked up from Target. A new shower liner, a shower curtain. The shower liner that we did have wasn't washable, so I got a washable one, so that way then I can just wash it and not have to buy a new one whenever it gets gross. Got a couple of baskets for different things, and then I got some caulk also because there's a, like a part on the faucet that needs to be sealed and so I'm just gonna take care of that today I also got some towels and a new bath mat and then some new shampoo for them and a couple of cleaning supplies I got this scrubbing bubbles mega shower foamer and it actually smells so good when I used it for the first time I was surprised at how good it smells and then I also just got the basic Clorox for cleaning up the bathroom so I'm just gonna start off by getting the rugs out of here and dirty towels and just putting things back where they need to go and then I'm gonna move all of their things off of the counter so that way I can get the counters wiped down and I'm gonna take the shower liner and the shower curtain down and I'll show you guys what the shower liner was looking like it was just getting really gross and like I said this one wasn't washable so I just had to toss this one and I'm gonna put up a new one that is washable so then when it starts to get a little nasty I can just run it through the wash and hang it back up Now I'm going in with that Scrubbing Bubbles Mega Shower Foamer. I'm gonna spray that all over the bathtub and the shelving in here and the faucets and all that stuff so I can get that all scrubbed out. So I'm just using a scrub brush to scrub out the bottom of the bathtub and then the shelves and everywhere that needs to be scrubbed out. And we recently changed the shower head in our shower in our bathroom and it's so much easier to like clean the shower now and I think we need to do that in the bathtub upstairs in the kids bathroom as well in their shower bathtub because I have to use a cup to like rinse off all of the surfaces that I scrubbed with the cleaner it'd be so much easier if we had a shower head with a sprayer so I might grab another one of those to put in the kids bathroom as well because we absolutely love the shower head that we just recently put in our bathroom. I have it linked to my Amazon shop, but the water pressure is so much better with the shower head we just put in, and it has a ton of different settings on it, and I absolutely love it. So once I'm done with the shower and the bath and wiping up all of the water that got all over the floor, I'm gonna take out the trash bag that's in the little trash can here. Just put that in the big trash can that I brought upstairs um, so to clean the bathroom. I got, got a new little garbage bag put in there. Just use plastic grocery bags for our little trash cans. They work perfect. So I got that done. Now I'm sticking on these disposable gloves and we're gonna get to work cleaning the toilet. I'm just gonna spray it down with some Clorox and I'm just using paper towels to clean today because all of my white cleaning rags were dirty and need to be washed. So I just had to use some paper towels today, but I'm gonna get all of that wiped down and then I will use my Clorox wand to clean the inside of the bowl.
right now we have the bath shower cleaned. We have the toilet cleaned. So I'm gonna run the vacuum in this portion of the bathroom. And then I'm gonna run the steam mop in here as well. My vacuum and my steam mop are linked in my Amazon storefront. I just recently got the vacuum for Christmas from Donnie and the kids and I absolutely love it. They picked it up at Costco, but it's also on Amazon, so that's the easiest way for me to link it for you guys. So it is linked. And then my steam mop, I got this in, I wanna say, 2018. So there is a newer version of it, and I think that's the version I have linked for you, because I don't think they make that version anymore. So anyways, that thing has been going strong. I use it all the time. I love that mop. And now I'm just going to wipe down the baseboards and the door frame here with some Clorox. Now I got this little basket from Target and I got it to go on the back of the toilet to hold extra toilet paper. And so I got that set up and now I am going to open up the new shower liner. And like I said, this one is washable, which is really nice. So whenever I need to wash it, I can just throw it in the washing machine and then hang it back up and we're good to go. And since this is basically just the boys bathroom and Berkeley uses the downstairs guest bathroom or like my shower, she keeps all of her stuff downstairs um, like for getting ready for school and stuff. So I thought it would be fun to turn this into kind of more of a boy bathroom. So I got this shark shower curtain from Target. I'm getting that hung up. I probably could have steamed it or thrown it in the dryer to get rid of the wrinkles, but we'll do that next time whenever it needs to be washed. And then I got this bath mat. I thought it kind of looked like ocean waves, kind of or like water to go along with the shark thing. And then I also got some blue towels, which I'll show you here shortly. But this part of the bathtub, this faucet was like the seal, the caulk was cracked. And we are renting this house, so I could have put in like a maintenance request to have it done, but sometimes it's easier to just do it yourself. <laughs> so I just grabbed this little, easy caulk thing from Target and I put it on there and I've caulked so many different things as far as like painting and like renovations that we've done in our previous homes that we owned. So this was a simple little thing. I just put it on there and then use your finger to smooth it out and wipe your finger off on a paper towel and then it's good to go. I think I'll let it be diving deep into the waves, babe. So now I'm just getting all of their stuff put back in the shower. That is all clean and done. And now we're gonna move on to the other part of the bathroom. So I'm using my Blue Land glass cleaner to wipe down the mirror. And now I'm gonna take my Blue Land bathroom cleaner to wipe down the counters. I really like the smell of that scrubbing bubbles shower cleaner. So I went ahead and used that in the sinks too, just cause it smells really good. And it did a great job cleaning the white bath and shower too. you like 
Now I'm going to spray the cabinet fronts with that Clorox bleach cleaner and get all of that wiped down. I'm also wiping down the door frames and also the baseboards in here, just kind of spot cleaning the walls and anything that I can see that needs to be wiped down. I will link all of the new things that I got from Target for this bathroom in case you guys are interested in those. But I got those blue hand towels. I love the color. Got those hung up. And then this little tray I got to put the boys' stuff in. They have their deodorant and their cologne that they like to put on before school. So we just keep those out. And then that little container canister thing, there's like dental flossers. So we have all that on the counter. And now I'm going to run the vacuum in this part of the bathroom. And then also the steam mop. So the floors are all clean, everything is spick and span in the boys' bathroom and the last thing I need to do is just put this trash can away with a fresh liner in it. And that is it for the bathroom. So everything is looking brand new, smells amazing, and is so clean. So I'm just going to give you guys a little overview of how the bathroom is looking now. Now that the bathroom is all clean, it is time to move on and we are down in the kitchen now. It is time to make dinner and we got HelloFresh this week. It's so nice when we do get our HelloFresh delivery because it fills the fridge with meals for the whole family and I don't have to do any of the guesswork as far as 
meal planning, that is one thing each week that needs to be done. I have to plan out dinners, but HelloFresh makes it so much easier, at least a few nights a week, to not have to do that. So super happy our HelloFresh is here. I'm gonna be making this pasta dish from HelloFresh tonight for dinner, and you guys, it turned out so good, and we even had leftovers, so that's amazing. So HelloFresh gets delivered right to your doorstep, and everything is pre-portioned, ready to go. Just do a little chopping, washing, and prepping, and you can have your meal put together in as little as like 20, 30 minutes. They're pretty quick. They come with a recipe card that is so incredibly easy to follow, definitely foolproof even if you've never cooked before. This is a great way to kind of learn how. And on those nights where we are super busy, like on this particular night, we had cheer practice, we had a basketball game, we had a ton of stuff going on, and we were running all over the place. So this was a super quick meal that I could just throw together really quickly, and I did not have to think about it. I didn't have to plan it, I didn't have to grocery shop for it, nothing. Not only does HelloFresh help with saving time and just not having to think about what you're gonna cook for dinner, but it also just takes the guesswork out of what am I gonna make this week and getting out of like that recipe rut. You guys can go to HelloFresh.com and use my code CASPERFRESHFREE for free breakfast for life. You'll get one breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. The code is CASPERFRESHFREE at HelloFresh.com for free breakfast for life. I will have all of the info in the description box for you guys, so definitely be sure to check out HelloFresh. Now that dinner is done, I have got about 20 minutes until we have to leave for cheer practice. So I'm gonna get the leftovers put into a dish and get that put into the fridge. And Donnie can take that for lunch tomorrow for work, so that's perfect. And I'm gonna just quickly get this kitchen cleaned up. So I'm getting all the dirty dishes into the sink right now, clearing off the counters, and then we can work on the dishes. Now I'm just gonna get these dishes from the dishwasher put away real quick so then we can get all the dirty dishes put into the dishwasher. My cat Jasper, he is 14 years old and we got him when he was three months old. He's my little baby but he likes to get right under my feet and I almost tripped on him. So I'm gonna pick him up and give him some loves and show him off to the camera. Then we will get back to work on unloading this dishwasher. All right, dishes are unloaded, and let's get all these dirty dishes put into the dishwasher.
I'm saying we're just friends, but thinking you're my man. And baby, if you knew, hey, I say I'm doing all right. I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered. And I cry when you're not around, because it matters, matters. Dreaming of your kisses in the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing, but I feel like, hey, I say I'm doing all right. I'm fine, but I'm scattered. We're just friends. Now I just have a couple things that can't go in the dishwasher, a couple of my knives from my knife block, and this pan. So I'm using my Mrs. Meyers Iowa Pine dish soap and a little scrub daddy sponge and I'm going to get those things hand washed. I'm also going to put some of that Iowa Pine dish soap into the sink and use my scrub brush to scrub the sink out, rinse it out, run the garbage disposal. That's what that little button is right there by the hand soap in case you were wondering. Run the garbage disposal and get the sink all cleaned out and smelling good in here. I'm doing all right, I'm fine. Hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered, and I cry when you're not around because it matters, matters. Dreaming of your kisses in the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing, but I feel like, hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered, and I cry when you're not we got the stove wiped down and I'm working on the counters and that's the last thing that I have to do. So I'm just getting the island all wiped down and then we will be able to head out to cheer practice. So that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe it gave you a little motivation to tackle one room in your house and maybe get a little deep cleaning done. But thank you again for clicking on this video and watching it, I appreciate you. And don't forget to check out HelloFresh in the description box. I will see you guys again very soon in my next video. Bye.